G'day folks, this afternoon's little equipment autopsy. Uh, we've got a realistic brand or Tandy brand CB radio. Uh, it's a very small, lightweight unit, probably 1980s-ish, possibly even 90s. I, don't, I doubt they even changed them very much over the years. Uh, I don't have the um, microphone and key for it, but I do have the unit. Uh, this was sent in by a friend. Um, just a trash find. It's been pretty beat up, but it might still work. Either way, we're going to take it apart. Hopefully non-destructively, because uh, once I work out what the pin inputs are for power, I'll uh, power it up and see if it even comes on. I'm a, I know the CB radios sort of more of a hobby thing these days with HF radios taking over and obviously Bluetooth communications and mobile phones the old uh, CB's probably going the way of the dinosaur but they're kind of fun to play with I remember playing with one years ago when I was a kid so it'd be kind of cool to uh, put a CB in the Mercedes or something like that um, let me grab my uh, electric screwdriver and uh, see what we can do Okay, so internally it's uh, largely transistor based, but still it's modern enough to have ICs. It's uh, obviously being such a small light unit, it's not going to be uh, all transistor. Um, underneath, pretty basic single side board, a few bodge components, diode, resistors, caps. <coughs> not an awful lot to see. You've got the PA and whatever else there is on the back there yes, PA speaker, an external speaker going into here by the looks of it, amplification and there's a, probably a TDA um, or single channel audio amp in there there's also a, uh, looks like an audio transformer in there as well looking at the underside yeah, just single channel um, audio amplifier that's your mic input and uh, key push to talk yeah, Uniden it's actually made by Uniden it says it on the board it's kind of cool copyright Uniden ok, so it's not as cheap as I thought it was um, that I looked up, I could not find anything solid on that particular chip, but that series comes up as a uh, frequency selector. So uh, that's considering it's tied straight into the uh, front panel frequency selection knob, that's exactly what it does. And so is the rest of this stuff here, that's probably a crystal in there. Uh, lots and lots of variable uh, inductors, <laughs> lots of them. I don't know what that little guy does, it's just a little PCB card. All it does is short out those pins, but I'm guessing it's like a capacitor because uh, it's got a solid trace with a slot through it on both sides. So, I'm guessing, put him back just where he came from, that's probably some kind of internal tuning or something, I don't know, noise cancellation? That's weird. I was expecting it to be something more complicated, but it's just purely a card with a trace on both sides, a very thick one. Um, could even be capacitive, probably to do with transmit. Um, AM power, AMC, meter, uh, these are, the VRs are m marked somewhat. Balance, Car oh, yeah, carrier balance, so that's that one. Um, final bias. Can't quite see. Oh, drive. There's drive, final bias, um, VR1S. <laughs> That's all it says. VR2, squelch trim. Um, yeah, there's a bit going on in here. At least it's all fairly basic stuff, and they actually tell you what it is on the board, at least for the most part. They don't tell you what the ICs do, but they do tell you what the VRs do. Oh yeah, VR three transmit frequency, TX frequency right there. Ah, there's the crystal. Don't know what that is. It says FL one. Could be a relay. I don't know. Or another big uh, encased uh, 
inductor or something like that but that is transmit frequency and it's crystal so there's a trimmer and all these are adjustables another crystal so two crystals in there what are you 10.24 megahertz and 10.6 something megahertz okay So power is just the two outer pins, the central pin doesn't do anything, that's easy to hook up. I'll make up a little power adapter and uh, plug this little guy in. Um, speaker's just standard, 10 ohm, no, 16 ohm Taiwanese speaker. Again, decent quality back in the day, It'd still work fine. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything, I mean, I'm not a CB expert, so I'm sure someone's standing there or sitting in front of the computer screaming at me. <laughs> always fun. A couple of transistors on the back there too. There's two of them. One will be probably be um, well that's probably trans that's probably your um, transmitter amplifier by the looks of it given that what the um, you've got final output bias and driver um, and these two transistors on the back of it going straight to the antenna socket or coming to and from the antenna socket so that's probably the the output. Cool. Alright, we've got power. And I even found a uh, crappy old, uh, it's like a HF marine antenna, but it should work for this. Hey. Very dirty. It has had water sit through it, you can see by the top cover. It's uh, been a bit wet. Probably doesn't like the antenna. Completely lost everything now. And this does have a bad digit in the display too. CB. Oh, I heard something there. Should be a something. That's better. everything now. Yeah. Mm. 
feeling that pot's really bad. Select the switch, whatever you call it. No, it's just dirty as. Doesn't explain why I'm not getting anything anymore. Nah, I think this thing's a bit pooky. That and I don't have a very good antenna on it. <laughs> yeah, well, that was interesting. Not really worth spending much more time on. The thing's had a pretty hard life and been uh, smashed up pretty bad, so. I'll uh, throw that in the spare parts bin. Thanks for watching and uh, up for the next autopsy.